Hi, Dana. It's Carrie. Um, instead of trying to type out all of these directions, I figured it would be easier to just do a quick um, screencast video for you to watch. It's faster. Anyway, to create these Google Docs, what you want to do is uh, go to Google Docs and Forms um, to the website. Mine has a specific length to it because if you notice, I'm already logged in for my particular account. You would just have to have a Google account. Once you log in, it'll happen for you as well. You are not actually technically using a Google Doc because that would take you to Microsoft Word. Instead, what you're using is a form. All right, these are ridiculously easy to build. Um, again, as I said, there are um, several functionalities with it. Up here, you have an area where you can change the way, you know, the colors if you want. If you wanted the chartreuse, oh, let's take that off because that kind of hurts my eyes. So um, let's go to a nice soft blue color. It's a little bit easier for you. Um, you would click here to be able to send it. You can send directly from this document or you can do a link for it. Um, this one here allows you, if you click on this, this allows you to see a preview for it and also find more information for it, how you can make a copy of it. If you click on this star function, it means it puts you to the beginning of your particular list for stuff. Um, there are add-ons that you can add to it if you want to. I don't get that fancy anymore with it to be able to add stuff to it. And you can pre-save your preferences, but that's complicated. And um, honestly, I don't think you need it. But anyway, there's functionality here for you. Um, I'm going to move this screencast down really quick. Down here at the bottom, it provides you with some more um, buttons to use. This one here allows you to add a question. This is just changing your title and description for it for adding information. It's already started with a preload one here, Untitled Form and Description. You can also add a picture if you would like to the document, which could be fun. Um, I've done that before and it's been fun. And then you can also include a short video if you want to into it where you could do a really warm welcoming welcome to this. Um, we really want to see you here at the faculty forum meeting. This is our opportunity to work together as a team, you know, that particular kind of stuff. And sorry about my phone blowing up in the background. I'm going to hit the um, pause button. And then there's also a spot here to add a section. So there's two parts to your form, the question side of it, and then the responses, which is where your Excel spreadsheet is. So we could title the form. What you do is you click into it, and it we could call it parent, um, parent forum and give it a form description. So we could say February... Um, February 12, 2018, from 5 to 6.30 p.m. at Warren County Children's Services Office. Then you have questions. Um, over here, you have a spot here for the question if you wanted to. Again, you could put in an image with it. Again, the images can be uploaded directly if you want a snapshot from your computer. Uh, websites um, also and any particular albums you might have set up for it or you could even search on Google for an image if you don't have one yet. Um, here are the different types of questions that you can add. I recommend for this you use short answer so people can type in information so it changes that to short text answer text and go with last name first. Um, I find it's important or um, to include your last names um, or to do it separately because we do this. And what's awesome is you can make a required button that forces people to, if I will go over, there you go, um, that forces people to actually um, provide the answer to it before they can move on. It gives you an opportunity to describe it if you need to describe what a last name is for people to know. And also an opportunity to say thank you for your response if you want to have that as a pop-up. Two, so we have last name is one. I come down here to add question and then I can do first name. I recommend you do these separately. This is just from my personal experience to do them separately because then it's more searchable for you in the Excel spreadsheet. You can put cell phone, and again, short answer is enough. And then you could put email, 
And again, short answer is good for that. You can make that required. And you could put RSVP that I would leave as multiple choice. And I would put yes, I plan to attend. No, we are unable to attend. And you have those as your two options. And then what you could do is you could add in, change this over to a paragraph so they have longer to respond. And you could say foster parent question number one. And then we could add in foster parent question number two. I'm going to scroll this down a bit so you don't have to squinch down there. Um, again, putting that to paragraph and maybe give a third question, foster parent question number three, and again, make that a paragraph, and you could leave that as your, I mean, if you wanted to, you could add one more um, additional comments. Click that as a short answer, and here you go. You've got this nice Google Doc. Um, if you want to see what it looks like, I, you can come up here to the bullet and click Preview, which is the I, and this is what it will look like for you. It's required that they have to provide. This is exactly what will be shown in the email. So the, their last name, their first name, cell phone. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. So it'll be Carrie McKenna. Um, 513-404-4159, um, Katie McKenna, here we go, and then, uh, yes, I plan to attend, we'll leave these blank um, for now, and then I click submit, okay, I'm going to come back here to submit another response, just because what happens when you come up is this little button it's no longer an eyeball now it's an edit so if i click back on that it takes me to that original um, format and we're going to look over here now at responses so i click on responses and i can see it um, you can do it as a summary where it'll give you everybody's right here quickly um, you have an rsvp if you have that here you'll know exactly what percentage of families are actually attending which would be nice for you um, it gives you some data analytics right here to be able to use for interpretation and analysis. You can also see individual people's information here because what will happen is every single individual will be listed. But here's the best part. You can come up here to the Excel spreadsheet, click here on this, create the spreadsheet. I'll click on that and I open it. And voila, I have a spreadsheet with all of my information for you. And then because I have it by last name, I can make it, oh, which I put in backwards stuff, Gary. But you can make it um, very searchable for yourself. Because uh, up here, you have all of the exact same functionality that you have in uh, regular Excel spreadsheets so that you can um, set these up with factors to be able to search them very easily, which it looks like they already are. Um, so you can sort them at least this way. But anyway, that's pretty much it. It's really a piece of cake. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Let me get out of that. Um, come up here to the send. Um, you can add collaborators. So say you want Michelle to have access to this or Tanya or uh, Melissa or Trish or anybody or Susan, you can add her information here. It does not have to be Google. It could be your work email address. You give access to it and then those people can also have access to look at this as well and to see your Excel spreadsheet, which is a beautiful thing. I do this with, um, for a couple of the um, functions that I use at work, I were I have um, administrative support a couple of times for a couple of the things that I run here, and I can send this easily to my administrator, who's um, administrative assistant, who's supporting me during those moments, and they have access to all of the information, and it's great because they can make changes to it, and everything. 
also to save it um, or to send it, what you have to do is click on this. Here's your link. You would go ahead and um, copy it. Uh, I'm bringing up my personal work email here. Um, and you just paste it into the document and right there. I don't, I'm not trying to be insulting, just making sure you know. You can also always change it, um, change your title of it in your email. I don't know if you know to do this. But um, again, if you do, I am not trying to be condescending. I'm just covering all my bases. Um, but you can um, change it to parent forum RSVP link. And now that's what it's called. So you can have the body of your um, email, blah, 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 and asking your parents to click on this. And then all they have to do is click on it, of course and it will take them directly to the um, to the document and voila they can fill it out for you so it makes it really easy for you to get um, more efficient I think information from people but anyway that's about it I'm starting to run out of time anyway and I am sure that you're bored and tired of listening to me blabber and that's pretty much it um, if you want any help with it just let me know um, I do these all the time I like them. Um, they are really helpful. Anyway, that's it. I hope you have a great day and are staying warm. Bye-bye.